Hey, greetings, performance reviews, where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today I want to talk about a lint lizard and the various knockoffs that are available online. Um, I've seen some videos on YouTube and they're either from stay at homes or people with really crappy vacuums. You know, if you have a hand vacuum, uh, th this sort of thing just doesn't lend itself well. So I'm going to be doing a review with a real vacuum like you'd have in your home, not some dinky handheld thing or some cheap dirt devil. And you know, if that's what you have in your home and that's your only vacuum, God help you. I'd recommend you check out my video why you shouldn't do that. Um, so let's talk about what came with mine. Uh, well, that was definitely from China. So we got a few different things here. Really no frills packaging. So we got a wire reinforced hose. Um, some of these are cut on a slant. This one is not. Quick note, mine didn't come cut at a 45 degree angle. I see that the genuine ones do come cut and that makes sense because it provides more surface area for the dust to flow into. Uh, so I just real quickly sliced mine at a 45 degree angle uh, with a vertical bandsaw. So that just twists on there. Assembly is good, and then that's not going to fit any vacuum. It came with this uh, oh, rubber thing, and this rubber thing is what I am most concerned about. First, let's see if it fits our vacuums. It works kind of like a Chinese finger trap in terms of how it works. So let's see which machines it fits, since I have a variety of hoses here. Let's try a Mila first thing. Oh. Yeah, that, that will fit on the end of a Mila. Uh, it's pretty loose on the end of the SIBO because of the power connector, though you can pull your power connector off on a SIBO. Um, yeah, it will fit on the end of a Henry very well. Now, this is the one I was curious about, the uh, Eureka Electrolux AG fitting. Yeah, that really works well. Uh, no problem with the Kirby. Uh, even these wider fittings like an upright will fit on there. That's a Hoover fitting. And then of course, the zero G fits it just perfectly as well. So yesterday was laundry day and I did about five loads of laundry. Um, so the machine should have plenty of stuff stuck in it. And I just want to talk about some of the other things I've used in the past. One is just a normal crevice tool. Uh, this just isn't flexible enough to get in. I bought one of these a long time ago which is a flexible crevice tool, and I'll put a link to this below, but it's about 23 inches long. Um, and it is, as you can see, I've been using it. So I'm curious to see if having a, to give you an idea of the, the length difference, a flexible hose will really make a difference. So what we'll do is, I've got some of the fluff from yesterday, and we'll try sucking it through the hose first, and I'll also suck it through just this crevice tool, just to give you an idea what it looks like. I've got the flexible crevice tool first. Let's just try that. So it works, but it kind of jams up sometimes. So let's give the, uh, this guy, ooh. And there's a suction relief valve on here, which I find comical. Barely does anything. So let's see. Well, first off, that clogged up that tube. I mean, the thing comes apart easily enough. Maybe push it in with a screwdriver. I hope that's not a reoccurring theme. Yep. Same spot. I did unplug this several times off camera is I always just open this up and suck it out as I'm vacuuming this particular room, like so. So that's something I've always done with my 
my dryer vent. And I think that helps a lot. I always do that, and then I always do the door as well and such. Now to get inside my particular type of dryer vent, I need to take a screwdriver and just real quickly uh, pull that off like so. Don't suck that up. <laughs> uh, so now I have access to this and again, vacuuming this out with just the normal end of the vacuum is more than adequate. And I can see right now I already have some stuff I want to vacuum inside here. So let's see how this guy goes. I have to say the suction of the machine is making the hose curl up. And that was one of the complaints I saw online. So I'm just feeding this in as much as possible. Nothing's gotten clogged yet. Make sure that's making a good seal. I think this, this is quite ingenious, the way that works. Uh, you kind of kind of work at it. You know, it needs some Viagra, in all honesty. Uh, yeah, that's not doing much for me. I think this is, for my kind of dryer at least, far more practical to just be able to go through, stick that in. And then that, yeah, that seems to channel the airflow a lot better. So I guess the other thing worth exploring is what did it look like after I did that? All right, let's see what's in there. Oh, that's about as good a job as any that's gonna get. It could be cleaner maybe, um, but you know, that's about as much as a vacuum's going to do. Certainly better than it was. Certainly not the cleanest. So you really do have to work at this uh, for a few minutes to get the job done. Well, it really seems that you do have to fuck your dryer vent uh, nice and thoroughly to get all that stuff out, unfortunately. Um, I think it's also worth exploring every once in a while, if you can, pulling the dryer out and cleaning inside the exhaust vent as well. Well, what have we learned today? Well, I've learned that this is not that useful. And I was really looking forward to using this uh, and pulling a whole bunch of crap out because I had seen some videos on it. I find this flexible crevice tool, which can be found in the generic form, and then Mila also has a similar tool that they sell that's genuine uh, for their machines as well. Uh, to be more useful than this. I will say that the universal fitting that they used on this is quite ingenious, and I think that this, uh, if you're not having to attach a floor tool, that this universal fitting could really uh, be used in a lot more accessories on here. Um, so I'll put a link below to the flexible crevice tool. You'll be surprised uh, at how inexpensive these are. Um, the other thing I, I notice is where my dryer tends to build up is just right here. It doesn't really build up, you know, like the old school, you know, dryers that my mother would have. So, you know, each dryer design is different. Uh, you know, I have a set of, these are a set of Speed Queens, which are a semi-commercial brand. They're actually made here in the U.S. Uh, I'll put a link as well to uh, my review video on them. I really like them. Um, and the other thing they come with, they come with this little, like, sock guard, so your socks don't fall in there. Um, so I hope you found this video informative and helpful if you are looking at one of these blue things online and trying to prevent dryer fires uh, as well. So, as always, 
Thanks for watching. Consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification and give this video a thumbs up. If this video really, really, really helped you or you really like our content, uh, check out our Patreon where we have different levels of where you can help us out and film content like this. I am going to have a few more videos on various attachments. Have yourself a wonderful day.